Morning. Well, we're very chopping. <clears throat> I've been here before, but not to this specific spot. I came here a month or so ago when the bales were in the field just off the road and near the car park, shooting up towards Rosebury Topping, which was a nice evening. I've also been further over to the east for the classic view of Rosebury Topping. This was not my intended spot. I did intend to carry on going up the path and down the way because there's a classic composition further over towards the east, shooting up towards Rosebury Topping. The sun is usual rise behind the camera but it's cloudy so there's not going to be any glorious sunrise. As I always mention, the sky over that way is very moody. There's some nice dissipation in the clouds, but yonder it's quite flat. There's a few lighter areas which I'm hoping will work when I take some photographs in a short while. I can see the sun's trying to burst through, there's a very tiny hint. Of colour on the horizon. Some lovely trees just over the brow there, some lovely autumnal colours. I'm not going to say autumnal, autumn colours. Some lovely oranges in there. I arrived when it was pitch black. set off from home about half past three having woken up at three o'clock with my alarm arrived on site at five o'clock sunrise was at half past seven so well in advance took a walk up the high cut was much harder than I thought it wasn't strenuous as such my head's a little chilly because my hat is on the path down there somewhere as I was walking through the woods pitch black but an enjoyable walk. I didn't expect to find. So really, I'll stop moving. I didn't expect to find the Captain Cook Memorial there. As I walked up the path, I just saw the tip of the monument in the background. I thought, happy days, that's very nice. Blue sky. <laughs> oh. Be right back. I'm just going to get my phone. So this is where I... I'll move my back out of frame. So as you can see behind me, there's not an awful lot of detail there. And what we have behind the camera So that's what we have behind the camera. Some lovely moody sky with decent movement in the clouds. They may hove, they may move across this way. Again, the, the clouds are due to, the clouds are due to dissipate and it's going to develop into a clear sky around eight o'clock. Well, between eight and 10 o'clock. So I'm hoping that here's some of a little bit of breakage in the clouds over Rosebury Top. And so when I arrived, it was pitch black, and as I set up my camera, a beam of light shone from the top 
over the top. A beam of light shone from the top of Rosebury Topping, which was quite strange. There must be somebody camping over there. So what again, anyway, photographically, what am I looking to take? Again, it's a scouting trip um, and I'll be back over the next month or so. When you arrive at a location in the dark, it's difficult to get a sense of where you stood and where you are. Case in point, I've seen the tree there lots and lots of times when I've been on Flickr, but I've only just seen it now as the, uh, as the light has, has arrived. So that's a, a shot I'm going to get. That'll probably be square format. There's a bit of a fence at the right hand side, which is not very photogenic, but I shall leave that in. One thing I'm going to do today, I'm determined to do after watching um, a vlog by Craig from E6 Vlogs, I believe it's called. Check out his vlogs. The last but one, which I'll put a link to below, one of the best vlogs I've seen ever. Fantastic, uh, great narrative, great sense of humour, great um, detail, great um, ideas, great information portrayed. And what are, what are you saying? And it's not, it's not, it's nothing new with respect to the Craig. He took three shots, he arrived and he took one shot in one place, one shot in another place, and a third shot in his final location over behind me. Check everything's working. And as I've mentioned before, I am looking to, to slow down. So I'm looking to take a couple of shots from here. I'm not going to go very far over that way. I'm going to take a few shots of the tree there, see if I can get a nice low angle looking up. Okay, I think it's square format seems to suit it well. There is another tree on the side, well, there's two trees on the side of the mountain, but the darker one, possibly slightly distracting. And I'm not going to try to pretend it's a leading line because it's not um, an implied leading line because it's not. Yeah, blue, bland, you can't have everything, can you? So yeah, I'm, I am looking to, to slow down. What I want to develop is a sense of anticipation. And I'm, I'm gonna use the word thrill, bear with me. I want to get a buzz when I press that shutter button. I want there to be a build up to it. Something which I'm not getting at the moment because the connection between me pressing the button and taking the photograph are so rapid. I don't really have time to think about what I'm doing. When I first got my camera, I would almost walk around with my camera in continuous mode with my finger glued to the shutter button taking photograph after photograph after photograph, thousands of photographs. Now that number's dwindled significantly because I'm becoming more experienced at discerning a good photograph. <sighs> Again, I'll intersperse these videos. The sky behind the camera is awesome and the sky above the topping is not as good but it's i'm getting some movement up there so it may develop yeah that's the, if that was over there it'd be lovely but it's not i'm gonna have to zoom out so it'll probably go out of focus that's where rosebury topping is and you have Lovely light and lovely clouds over there. It's over there, lovely colour. Lovely clouds over there. Contrast, contrast colour. And they were full 360 for you, so you can feel how much I'm moaning. Nice colour, nice colour, nice colour. Skills the gimbal, lovely contrasty colour and clouds. With light breaking through over there. We have the monument, and back to where we started with 
one could only characterise as um, meh. You never know though, it may develop into something better. Rosemary Top in itself is an absolutely monumental structure. I was reading about it last night <clears throat> and the whole of this side here, just below you can see all the massive boulders, they used to be part of that flat face there but there was a ge geological event, technical term, some time ago and all that side of the topping slid and fell off which gives that very distinctive look that you get from one angle where it's almost a flat face. It is a wonderful structure. So I've just taken some HDR panoramas. I'm going to try to test out the HDR panorama function. Stop moving. The HDR panorama function in Lightroom. So a recent video by a chap. Again, I'll post a link to his vlog below. Very well articulated tutorial. So I've done some HDRs. I've done lovely time lapse with the gimbal. There's something above the rosemary top in lovely blue clouds. There's some lovely gorgeous light developing now. So it's obviously sunrise time. You get little islands of light. So that's where we have the rosemary top in again. There is a bit of cloud developing, a bit of texture. Over there. Drop me exposure over there is a lovely, lovely, lovely. But that's not where I am. I am here. I'm usually a pessimist. Lost my hat. I thought I'll never find it, and I thought, no, I'm going to be optimistic. I gave myself a 90% chance of finding it. Did I find it? No. Back to being a pessimist. Morning again. Well, it's half past 11. I've just spent the last 15 minutes feeding the horse. I think it only had two teeth, so it really struggled with the biscuits, but it really did enjoy them. Not a bad way to finish a day. Bit of a hodgepodge vlog, I feel. But I'll see what it comes out like. I have got four vlogs which I've edited and put together, which I've decided not to post because they just don't really work. And I'm not going to start putting things out just for the sake of putting things out get me yeah enjoyed that i said i've been up eight and a half hours God, time for bed 